should be worried about where this world is heading. Just watch the news. You will see all the rapes, the murders, the diseases, all of these crazy issues that are raging all across the world. People are killing each other. It's not safe. And no one can be trusted. But is that actually the case? Let me tell you a story. Billy wakes up every single day and the first thing that he does is turn on the news. Oh, I have to stay informed. In the last eight hours since he last watched the news before he went to bed last night, there have been three new shootings, there's a super version of Ebola spreading across the world, and there's a food shortage. Billy is instantly anxious. Uh, what am I going to do? The world is falling apart. Now, the funny thing is that Billy has never seen a shooting in his life. He has never skipped a day of eating in his life. And he's never had a sickness worse than the cold. So for Billy, every single thing that he hears about on the news is so distant to his own life circumstances. Yet he still walks around in constant fear and thinks that the world is coming to an end. The news has managed to convince him that this world is doomed. Now, meet Ox. Ox is a man who hasn't turned on the TV in years, let alone the news channels. He focuses all of his time and effort into producing and creating the life that he wants for himself and his tribe, not into worrying about what the news is talking about. But even though Ox never goes out of his way to watch the news, he still manages to hear about all of the major events going on in the world, almost as if through osmosis. And he still stays safe. Ox is an evolved man, an adapted man. He sees not just the dangers of the world, but also all of the positive things. And it's funny because Ox lives in the same city as Billy. He experiences the same dangers as Billy, but he still manages to live life worry-free. He's fully aware of what's going on around him, but he's never worried. He realizes that the good things in life far outweigh the dangers and the bad things. Let me ask you a couple questions. Why do you watch the news? Why? Do you feel like it's improving your life? Do you feel like it's making you safer? How? Do you worry that if you stopped, you'd be less aware of what's going on in the world? Now listen, I'm not saying to stop watching the news entirely. What I am saying is that, number one, if you do stop watching the news, there is a very high chance that you will still hear about every single important event that comes around. I haven't watched the news in three or four years now and I am completely aware of everything that happens in the world. People talk about the news, it's going to happen. So even if you choose to not constantly inundate your mind with their negative bullshit, you will still hear about it. Now, the issue is that the news is a business and they get paid off of your attention. It's in their best interest to constantly grab your attention. That is their number one goal. The number one way to grab someone's attention is to show them something provocative, something extreme. So the news channels do exactly that. They constantly spew out negative news, doom and gloom. Oh, the world's ending, uh, uh, virus, disease, oh. If you listen to the news constantly, you will always be in a state of fear. They spew out doom and gloom in crazy headlines to keep people hooked. And you know what? It fucking works. I bet a large amount of money that you have heard about every single mass shooting, murder, war, and virus that has come across the world in the last couple of years. I, I, I know you have, because that's what the news tells us. That's what the news focuses on. And sure, that's fine because we should know about these things. But the issue is that the news never talks about the positive things. They, they don't talk about the happy couple that is building a family. They don't talk about the drug addict who completely transformed his life. They don't talk about the grinding entrepreneur 
who changed his life over the course of years and years of hard work. They don't talk about any of that. All that you will ever hear about on the news is the negative stories. Why is that? Why do they flood our minds with so much negativity? None of those positive things are newsworthy, right? Now, here's the fact of the matter. 99% of what happens in everyday life is mundane, it's average, it's normal. Most of the things that occur in life are not extreme. But in this day and age, there are 10 billion different things constantly vying for our attention. So what we focus on is usually the extreme things. If something normal happens and that's on the news, no one's gonna pay attention. School shootings are not the norm. Rape is not the norm. Mass murder is not the norm. Diseases all across the world are not the norm. But when the news focuses on these things, you begin to become convinced that that is what normal life is like. You become anxious, you become afraid. It infects your mind, infects your heart. But that's not life. The news takes the 1% most extreme, tiny sliver of events and highlights those until they are all that you see. And it's a smart business move because it fucking grabs attention, it works. But it's dangerous for your brain to constantly be fed so much negativity. Over time, they managed to convince the masses that the most extreme, absolutely terrible 1% of events is what the 99% of day-to-day -day life actually looks like. And it's not. Now, I'm not saying that you never should watch the news again. I think it's very important to keep yourself informed on some level. But just take the news with a grain of salt. Realize that it is in their best interest to focus on only the worst, most extreme negative events. But there is so much good. There's so much good in this world. I haven't watched the news in years, but I'm not saying that you should just completely ban the news in your life. No, you don't, you don't need to go to an extreme. But what I am saying is that when you turn off the news and stop constantly feeding your mind with their negativity, and you actually go out into the world and experience it for yourself, the chances are that you will quickly realize that the world is not all doom and gloom. It's actually pretty fucking beautiful pretty amazing. Don't live your life in fear needlessly. And if you can't change something, why worry about it? Anyways, that's the video for today. Subscribe for more similar videos. Peace out.